Okay, welcome. Today I want to offer some reflections about betrayal trauma, complex trauma, and I also want to link it in to boarding school syndrome, and I'm going to propose a hypothesis for this video about that boarding school is a trauma. Often we talk about in this work about yeah people needing to survive but often not that not everyone is traumatized and I want to just explore that today is could it be that just by us being at boarding school we are traumatized so okay so um, I'm going to draw upon the work of Jennifer Freyd today and Jennifer Freyd is the world's leading expert in betrayal trauma. Now, I believe she's from Harvard University. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm also going to draw upon um, Annabel Gonzalez, the psychiatrist, and Nick Duffel and George Chavrin's work. So first of all, what is betrayal trauma? So from um, an abstract from the Journal of Interpersonal Violence, uh, called Betrayal Trauma. This was in 2011. I'll put a link into the, the bottom so you can read it. It's basically saying betrayal trauma or trauma perpetrated by someone with whom a victim is close is strongly associated with a range of negative psychological and physical health outcomes. Okay. And then they say at the bottom um, about traumas Characterized by high betrayal, predicted alexthymia, which is a struggle to feel emotions or understand what emotions are in the physical sense. Uh, anxiety, depression, dissociation, physical health complaints, um, whereas other traumas did not. Now, why this is interesting, because as I read those, those very much sound like uh, the symptoms for boarding school syndrome. Nearly everybody that I work with struggles to feel emotions, has anxiety, often depression, dissociation and physical health complaints. It might be backs, shoulders, you know, so this is this is really interesting stuff. So how this links then into, you know, boarding school uh, and boarding school syndrome is this idea that... If I read Nick Duffel's um, book, and this is page 108, he says, And betrayal is another of the great unrecognised but cherished blood sports in British boarding life. I'm not saying the British are by nature perfidious, but a boarding child has certainly been steeped in betrayal. First he gets, gets betrayed by his parents, dumped away from home in an institution for what are apparently going to be the best years of his, of your life. Then he gets betrayed by the border's double bind, which goes like this. If they love me, why do they send me away? And if it is so important to them and I don't like it, there must be something wrong with me. Now, this is fascinating. Um, Anne Power, in her um, article in the Attachment Journal, talks about this, that you know, the belief is at boarding school, because we are, um, you know, left in this institution, she's saying that we must understand that as that there's something wrong with me. So, it's, you know, fascinating. So next, in order to survive, he has to practice a profound self-betrayal. He must cut off parts of himself that get him into trouble or are unwanted. And these parts are those that are closest to his humanity, his feelings, his vulnerability, his childishness, his trust in others, his innocence, his sexuality. To maintain survival, he has to reinvent himself as someone who does not need love and therefore cannot be betrayed. Most boarding children make this sacrifice instinctively and unconsciously. It is profoundly masochistic. Betrayal is a wound to love, to trust, which often features in the corridors of power. So that's from Nick Duffel. And then Joy Chavrin says in her book, Boarding School Syndrome, talks about this idea 
and she's talking about a client, my client Theo, I suggested that it might be that he couldn't trust being happy and he agreed it was about trust. It was also about betrayal. It became clear that betrayal by the adult who should have cared for him had been significant. Theo was haunted because he had been forced to betray himself. So, you know, this is kind of pointing to that boarding school is a betrayal. Okay, so I'll lead on, but I'll just share a little bit of my own story. For me, a boarding school, as I've shared before, I went because I wanted to get away from home. So I felt that it was my decision. I know now from reading Alex Renton's work, uh, Stiff Upper Lip, saying that, you know, and I see this, we were fed this information, this propaganda, you know, in boys' own magazines and uh, annuals, that boarding school was amazing. It's like, oh, I really wanted to go to get away from this this idea of, of, of escaping. Um but I didn't understand that, and I thought it was my decision. I'm a 10-year-old boy. And I then went to the school, and I did not like it. And I felt I'd betrayed myself, this self-betrayal. You know, I really hated myself, that I'd basically given everything up. You know, yes, my reason for going was to get away from my dad, but I didn't realise it meant getting away from my mum, my sister, my dog. And my house, my comfort, my books, everything suddenly went. So I really felt like I betrayed myself there. Um, so then, kind of drawing upon um, the psychiatrist Annabel Gonzalez's work, she's saying here, uh, page four, um, some authors propose that the central element of trauma is the betrayal by those whom we trust. As social animals, we are, we grow up in groups which provide us security and protection, and we continue to form part of support networks uh, in adult life. And she goes on in her footnotes to say, page 199, she says, Jennifer Freyd proposed the idea that betrayal is the key element that makes an experience become traumatic, especially in the context of childhood. So I think that for me is really key and this is why I feel we could propose that boarding school is a trauma. Here Nick Duffel, Joy Chavrin are really saying betrayal is a key part of boarding school, both betrayal by our parents, you know, and I, I think, you know, and then linking that in to Jennifer Freyd's work and she's saying propose the ideal that Betrayal is the key element that makes an experience become traumatic. So we know that boarding school, there is betrayal there. And therefore, this is the key element that makes an experience become traumatic. So going to boarding school is not just an experience, it's trauma. So this is just something I'm, I'm fascinated by. And if you think, you know, as I speak to my clients, um, about their first day at boarding school, they often say, while they were off looking around the school, that's when the parents left. So they're betrayed on the first day. And they thought, oh, and then they're betrayed, they're told it's going to be lovely. And it turns out that it's not. You know, they're then betrayed by the institution if they're being told, you know, they're going to keep them safe. And they don't. They don't feed them. There's hunger. There's all of these different things. Um, there um, and I think then the final betrayal for me is by society because then once you've been through this experience you're told you know well it's amazing you know, you've got nothing to complain about and you're like well no it, it, it wasn't that it wasn't you know lovely it was really challenging um, so um, yeah so so yeah that that's kind of uh, and I'll just carry on a bit with uh, Annabelle Gonzalez work just about uh, complex trauma she goes on to say damage that comes from the world outside those bonds can be expected meaning the bonds of uh, family but when the very people we turn to when we seek out care and support end up hurting and ignoring us this falls outside the evolutionary programming stored in our brain 
I've heard so many people at boarding school say, I don't want to be there anymore. Can you take me out? And they ignore, they ignore, they ignore. They write letters and they still ignore it. Um, for And he, he basically goes on to say, when we expect to receive help from an esteemed figure, especially when we are in a vulnerable position, any hostile gesture or lack of consideration can cause something inside of us to break. It breaks. Therefore, experiences of domestic abuse, neglect or abandonment, which we, you know, George Chavrin, A, B, C, D of boarding school syndrome, abandonment is number one, A, tend to cause the most complex forms of trauma. Therefore, experiences of domestic abuse, neglect or abandonment tend to cause the most complex forms of trauma. Harm is caused to the most vulnerable individuals within the group that constitutes a home, the one place where a person should be able to take refuge from the outside um, world. Experiences such as living through a war, surviving a kidnapping or prolonged confinement um, can also give rise to clinical problems which conceal a profound personality disturbance. <laughs> and so, yeah, so just some ideas there. Um, you know, I'm just piecing these together. But if this is the case, that, you know, boarding school is a betrayal. Yes, the two of the leading figures are talking about that. But then to say, actually, betrayal is what signifies and underlines an experience becoming traumatic. I think that's really, really fascinating. Um, I think that's... That's it, really. I think um, yeah, there's just some ideas um, around that. So, yeah, please share any questions, any thoughts. Um, yeah, please do share this. Um, like it if you like it. Um, and if you have any questions, please do let me know. Okay.